Hey, welcome everyone. This is my mom's a bitch. Unlocking Pyromancer in co op mode. This is two player local co op. The Pyromancer is unlocked uh, through a quest. You have to find his sister in the forest and then lead her to one of the shops in the castle the shops well if there are multiple shops you have to find the one where the pyromancer is waiting for you okay this is a replay we had a couple of unsuccessful runs and it's great with this game because you can just play and then if you you have a good run then you can just play the replay and and you can also rewind we got two shamans here and only one bomb so we can't get to the other one and we grab that wooded dog quickly and just kill him from the distance Unlock the chests. Uh, we got some nice stuff fire immunity and a scroll. Let's see what's the. It's the. Everyone speed up. So, with this scroll, when you use this scroll, uh, you have to use it in a room full of enemies. Well, not full, at least one enemy. And. Uh, Basically, you speed up and the enemy speed up, but uh, the speed up effect is permanent, so you remain faster even if the bell ends. See, and now we're both faster for the rest of the game. Okay, so we we found the girl in the previous room, but we're not take bring her along yet because she might die in here in the forest so we're gonna clear the forest first and then come back to her and maybe try to find some weapon or scroll that could help us because we need to traverse the the battlements and get to the castle it's not that easy because she, she can die Away. So this this shop is great. We don't have enough gold. We need to rob it. So we're gonna try. Okay. And now I'm just gonna try to lure him away from the voodoo doll while she jumps on it. Okay. Now we can both just attack the doll. Done, okay. And now we got the fire sword, which is much better than the basic sword. And the, the other player is just goofing around here. Okay, so we just I'm gonna clear all the forest from enemies. I'm gonna skip this part. We got a couple of upgrades, nothing spectacular. Okay. Okay, pet time. We only got money for one. Turtle is excellent for this quest. Because the enemies start attacking the turtle. And you have some some time to kill a couple of them before they can hurt that girl okay we got two shamans here we just have to be careful not to set anyone on fire through the voodoo doll okay we clear that up and now well basically we can take another pet the the bat is good the bat is really good 
against those enemies who have shields because he can hurt them from the other side and then they turn towards him and then you can smack him so especially when you're playing alone okay so the troll bridge is really funny because you can go around it really depends on the level layout and sometimes you can just laugh at the troll okay another room we're just gonna clear that as well okay and we found the boss so let's just uh, get some hp and this is a golem I use the voodoo doll to mark him because it's much easier to fight him that way. I missed the doll. Okay, so now I can just attack the doll and set him on fire. I'm not sure if maybe the earth golem should be fire resistant. I don't know. He's is resistant to poison and petrification and meteors so I don't know okay we got some upgrades we got the, the lightning sword but I think I'm gonna keep using the fire sword for this run basically they're almost the same both have great range and well, the, the lightning one has the lightning attack as a special, which does a lot of damage, but uh, the fire one has dashing, which is important because you can clear out a lot of enemies. So we still have one more room here, and we just kill those goblins. Okay, and now we're bringing her. When you're playing alone, this can be really hard because she's close to you and when you get in, in a close combat with enemies, she can get hurt easily. But when there are two players, one of the players can just guide her away from the enemies. Alright, let's see the map. Okay, the boss is this way, but we don't really have anything to to beat the boss quickly, so she would probably die. So we just need to go and find something, some scroll or maybe a magic weapon that could help us beat the boss quickly. Or something, you know, maybe that would... Uh, Maybe if I find the, the rage potion. Let's see, toughness. I wish that maybe if this character could drink potions, I guess it would be much easier. But I don't think it would be fun because uh, this quest is really hard and, and that's what makes it fun. You can't just go and do it. You need a couple of tries at least. If you're playing co-op, you need maybe two or three times. If you're playing alone, you probably need a dozen times. There's a little bit of, of luck involved as well. It depends how close is the... For example, this was really, really bad, but Luckily we had an, another potion. I was hoping to save that one for the castle, but no. Okay, so we need to go to this room anyway to get to the treasure room. So we're just gonna go this way towards the shop. Okay, I hope she doesn't get hurt here. In the first version of this quest, uh, you could hurt the, the NPC, but I don't think that's a really 
but it was really too hard to fight, especially with melee character and also mage, you couldn't just back off and fire because you would hit her. So it's much better like this if she's treated as an ally. Okay, so we still don't have anything special and um, we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> she keeps following her. Okay, clear this one. We just refill our HP and get some more bubble gums, but nothing special. We have a teleport scroll, so we could use it. If things get things get really tough, like if enemies lock her down somewhere, get her stuck. But luckily that didn't happen. So we have another black potion, which we definitely need for the next level, and we reach the locked room. Okay, so now we can go to the other side. And we got the third staff, okay, so that that was the the really thing that helped this run a lot. That's what basically helped us beat the boss. And we got the gamble scroll, which actually didn't turn out really good we used it on the boss but you, you, you gonna see really quickly okay so we just went to the boss one more room and then the boss room that's the earthquake staff over there it can knock down all the enemies, so it's useful in that regard, but you need mana to, use, to do that. Okay, so I picked up that. And now basically it's boss time. Okay, so we changed this boss, but <laughs> it turned into a dragon, which, I don't know, maybe is better. Luckily we had the turret staff, and uh, the fire sword actually does a lot of damage, especially if you, you combine it with a voodoo doll like this, that's double damage. I got a little bit careless there. But the third staff and the third tool is really powerful. Okay, so we managed to, to, to win this one. And this is the hardest part in this quest. The, the boss fight on the second level. I mean, if you, if you can defeat the boss or just use the escape scroll to skip the bell. Okay, uh, we go. <laughs> now, this here is going to be fun. We have two teleport scrolls. So I figured, let's just, you know, teleport because the shop is like f five rooms away so we need to fight through four rooms full of enemies and traps I figured if we use a teleport it's a high chance we would be we would get somewhere closer and we have two teleports so if the room is really tough I can use another one to escape and so we did <laughs> We got here, this room is, is really easy because you have traps and I used the bomb to break a door leading to the shop and we unlocked it. So 
basically it was a third staff for the boss Topward scroll with a little bit of luck and the bomb and the NPC got stuck here she should have just walked to her brother but it doesn't matter okay so we decided to also clear this level since we feel like we're powerful enough at, or at least defeat the boss we still have one charge of the third step ready but I think saving it for the boss is a good idea we have one tough room here you see that's the earthquake and the third staff is helping a lot uh, in the castle there's always a room before the boss fight where you only have the guards and it can be really tough if you're lucky uh, it could be a shop, so no enemies, but if it isn't a shop, then it can be really tough, unless you have some good weapons or scrolls to use. Okay, so now we're getting ready for the boss fight. We have enough mana to create another turret. And I still have a topper staff if it gets tough. So let's go. Okay, the third is doing the job. And we're pretty good. Well, we were pretty good until I did this and got burned. So. I looked at my HP and I, I was like, I'm down to one hit and I teleported away. So yeah, I think it was a good, good move because I didn't think she would be able to beat the, the boss in 20 seconds. Okay. So now we can go back and try the boss fight again. And we have a little problem here because we teleported half the way through the boss. So now we have to fight through three rooms to get back there. At least the third staff will fill up. Okay, these enemies are still much easier than the boss fight and we just bombed our way through because we felt like we only want to fight the boss we could just clear everything but we don't have any more bombs so now we have to clear this one Okay, now we're back, back on track. We're still low on HP because we shared the health from the other player <laughs> and our NPC is still confused here, but it's okay. This health potion. Okay, and we can create another turret. So we'll have two turrets, and that should make it much easier. Okay, the other player just died from the first hit. I have a bomb here, but the turrets are like amazing. If you have two of them, that's it. Okay, and now there's a newly added area, well, it's added recently, there's a king, 
and the story just progresses here. If you defeat the king, you can take the scepter, uh, scepter, and use it to summon the guards. It takes three mana, so you won't be seeing that in this run. But yeah, I just love to turn uh, kings into monsters. <laughs> and the other player used the teleport here accidentally, so we have to go all the way back to these rooms and fight those goblins there's a scepter but I don't have enough mana so I cannot summon a guard we just have to Kill these goblins and finish the game because this is the the game is still in early access, so it only has these three levels. But the new levels will be coming soon. <laughs> I love how the magic bubbles roll on the ground if they bounce too much. Well that's it, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next update.